Hey guys, I'm Rachel. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe and hit the bell so you get notified whenever I upload a video. And while I didn't give this video a little thumbs up, share it with someone you think might like it, and I hope you stay to the end. So today I'm doing my casual everyday spring makeup i've been doing this a lot lately and i love it it's the makeup that's gonna last it's all about like light coverage build on light coverage to end up with a nice flawless look so let's hop into it let me get this here out of the way i already primed my face this is my wet and wild primer serum base this is really nice and i went into the center of my face with my elf mac putty primer these primers are amazing they're amaze balls like jack and hill would say <laughs> Since this is like a light coverage makeup, I'm just going to take some of my Laura Mercier powder because it's um, a really mattifying powder and I'm just going to apply that some of this to the center of my face here. Just in the areas where I tend to get um, oily throughout the day. So I'm like setting this area with this powder. All right, so do you see this? My skin is already looking like I did something to it. Just, I like using a foundation that is like, feels very light on the skin that you can but you can build it up to like a full coverage if needs be and i like reaching for of course the fresh wear foundation from maybelline from l'oreal sorry and i love dior for this these foundations are very light and they tend to last very well they're very um they're buildable and they're long lasting and i like that um for this particular look because they tend to not crease a lot um at the end of the day and i'm going with a very little because all i'm trying to do here is Ooh, how do they do that on Instagram? <laughs> Damn. <laughs> All I'm trying to do here is just achieve an even base with my foundation. I'm not trying to like cover up too much or anything like that, just to even out my skin. And I'm going in with a brush initially for that. So I use my Dior because I feel like I'm always using L'Oreal for sure. Right, so this is what my face is looking like. I went in with no more than, than what I showed. So I'm just going to take my e.l.f. Total Face Sponge. I am loving this sponge so much. I'm just going to go over everything just to remove if any brush strokes might have been left behind from the brush that I used. Which hardly ever happens. I love that brush. It's from Amazon. I always speak about it. I will link it in the description as well. It's only $10. So this is what my skin is looking like. As you can see, it's even, and that's all I want. I don't care if I'm seeing any little dark spots more than any others on my face. I just want even coverage. So I'm going to use the e.l.f. Camo Concealer in Deep Chestnut. Apply the tiniest bit. <laughs> well, that doesn't look tiny, but trust me, it is. Underneath my eyes and blend that out. As you can see, it's a bit, um, it has a bit of a red undertone. So it's just going to help me to call it, uh, it's just going to help me to correct any discoloration underneath my eyes as well. And I've been loving this sponge also. It's an e.l.f. sponge. It's shaped really nice and I feel like you can get away with using this sponge dry as well. Like I use it both ways. It's a beautiful, beautiful sponge. I really do love it. And now I'm going to add just a tiny bit more to highlight underneath my eyes. I'm using the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer and I'm really just applying the slightest amount. I'm applying some right to the inner corner of my eyes and this part of my eyes also some on the bridge of my nose and a little on my chin and i'm just gonna start to blend that in so i'm pushing pushing it here underneath my eyes get the coverage right here and spread it out to meet the other part of my eyes the other part that I have the concealer. I'm also going to go over my eyes with whatever is left to just sort of um, lay a base for my shadow and to brighten up my eyes a little bit. So this is what it's looking like. Very fresh very little product so there's very little creasing or anything collecting in any lines and whatnot on the skin now i'm going to take my um a foundation stick from wet and wild it's a contour stick and the color is just like a maybe one or two shades um darker than me which is what i want so i'm just applying it on my brush sort of going in the back of my hand to distribute it evenly on the brush and then apply it to my contour 
and then apply to my to bronze my face just to add some definition as you can see you can barely see it but it is there and it's what i want i want everything to look more natural looking like really just create shadows on my face because this is like more for the daytime so i want it to be very natural looking i really love the color of this uh what's and wild contour stick i've had it for a while in my collection also just fell back in love with it so i'm just gonna take my sponge one more time just sort of mesh everything together okay so now i'm taking that laura mercier powder again and I am gonna set the entire um, center of my face with that. I'm not baking or anything. I'm just pushing the powder in to set my concealer and like I said, the center of my face because it's where I tend to get oily. And I went for Laura Mercier because it's very matte and I need that because I'm not like using a lot of coverage or anything with the products that I just used. So I'm just really pushing that into my skin. And then for the rest of my face, I'm gonna take my Sephora Micro Smooth Powder on a brush and just tap that in. This powder is like so nice, it's so smoothing and just gives you a sheer wash of coverage. So I'm gonna do my brows and come back and show you the eye look. And brows are done in one, two. So I use my Maybelline Tattoo Studio for my brows. Like, what's new? This has been my holy grail for months now. All right, so now it's time for the eye look. And I'm going to start off with my Jeffree Star palette. It's a very simple look to achieve, trust me. So I'm going to start off with this color on my crease. It's a very um, muted, sort of peachy color. And I'm gonna put that all over my lid. Zoom you guys in just a tad bit so you can see better. So I'm packing that on my lids. Pack and blend. Pack and blend. So have you guys seen Love is Blind on Netflix? Like, oh my god, I'm thinking. I need to go to the show. I need to find me a camera. <laughs> oh my God, I'm like, this show is so interesting to me. It actually like made me think a little bit. Like, you know, I feel like I could identify with the show so, so much. Like I hate it, Jessica. Like I cannot stand Jessica. Oh, I can't stand her. Oh my God, I couldn't stand Jessica. Oh, all right, so I'm taking a deeper, more coppery, peachy color, and I'm just gonna go on the same brush again and apply that over it, kinda, more on my lids and blend it up into the other color. Like from watching the show, I know how I overthink and how critical I am. Like I'm an analyst, I analyze everything and I'm thinking maybe I need to do something like that. Like go on some show where I can see anything and fall in love with someone's personality. Cause for me, personality is very big, obviously. Um, but of course the physical plays such a big role in, in you know, you being with somebody and wanting to be with somebody. I said it's a very simple look you can take any peachy color that you have you probably could use like a blush anything and just throw it over your lids and that's basically it for the lid and for my bottom lash I'm gonna add some color so I'm gonna take my Kathleen light so jaded palette I'm gonna take this color named turquoise it's a nice shade of blue and I'm gonna apply that to my bottom lash just run that underneath you know, shadows doesn't have to be complicated, trust me. And I don't really like complicated eye looks all the time. Like, I just prefer those sort of looks to go for. They're just so Im um, simple to create and they still make a statement. They look really nice. So, 
don't feel like you have to go out there and do cut creases all the time trust me you do not I'm just sort of creating like a little V on the outside and just dragging it in a tad bit on the outer V of my eyes. And I'm just gonna go in with a fluffy, tiny blending brush and just buff the edges off so it's not too harsh. Yeah, so love is blind. Like, I'm like, I feel like I, I, I could do something like that. <laughs> can, do you guys think you can do something like that? Comment down below if you feel like you can actually do a show like Love is Blind. Just to remove the elements of the physical appearance and whatnot and just actually be with somebody because of the personality. Because for me, it's like physical, then personality. And if the, the personality does not match the physical, like personality for me, I feel like it's number one at the end of the day. Because, you know, you could have someone that looks a bomb as hell, but they don't have that personality and it's out the door but then again on the flip side you are like liking someone so much in the personality but you feel like you can't get past the physical because i feel like we all have um we all have this thing in our heads where we know we have an image in our head of what, what we would like our husbands and boyfriends to like be like i'm taking emerald from so jaded it's just a darker green and I'm applying that a little bit and I'm applying that just a little bit to the inner corners of my bottom lashes yeah let's add a little touch and shimmer right here of course that is not necessary but I had the color in front of me so why not so I'm going to add a little contrasting color because I always go for black. So I'm just taking this Colourpop gel liner in the shade Zulu. It's just a kind of greenish color. And I'm going to apply that in my waterline. That's mostly it for the eyes. So let me zoom you guys out a little bit. right and let me complete the face so i'm taking this z palette that i created and i'm gonna color right here it's a blush for mac named taupe and because of the color of it it's meant to like just create the perfect shadow give you that shadow without making it look too harsh of a contour or bronzer or what and that's why i layered the contour stick from wet and wild because it's just gonna create this nice layer and just give me um, layer nicely with the with this blush and just create this shadow but still not be too harsh on the face but you still are left with um, definition I actually got this tip from um, it was uh, Beyonce's makeup artist Sir, Sir John um, I heard him talking about it he did someone's makeup and he was talking about this blush almost a year ago when I bought it and I've been loving it for that purpose just create this nice shadow you see that I'm gonna take this Tart Tartius Pro Glow palette and reach for this pinks there's they're like a more mauve -y. they're pink but more on the mauve side and just taking both of them anyway because they're very very um, like soft and pop that on my cheeks I love using blush I just feel like it really does do something bring dimension and color back to your face so that your skin isn't just flat and you look like more flush when you're out in the Sun and this color is perfect it's just really soft and nice a tip for like finding your perfect shade of blush is to like look at the inside of your lip kind of see like what shade it is on the inside like um, <laughs> this will help you like gauge better of a color blush that will fit you nicer and complement your skin tone better I'm gonna set my face with my Morphe spray what's new here and I'm also gonna go over to the size of my face with my uh, Anastasia dewy set spray I love this spray it just creates a nice it's not like dewy at all it just creates a nice luminous look on your skin so you know it doesn't make you look oily or greasy or whatnot but your face your skin looks alive so I love that I'm gonna add some glow just a tad bit I'm gonna use my Jaclyn Hill um, what do you call those um, hmm, loose highlight in high volt 
and I'm picking it up on my brush sort of just mixing it around in the cover so it's distributed all over the brush and spray it with my morphe spray I find that this works best with this um, highlight it's such a nice highlight when you when you spray it it turns into like a sort of gel like um, finish and it's just beautiful so I'm gonna apply this do you see that like it's just so pretty mm, little on my chin bridge of my nose so wrap it around I don't found a highlight that does that um, like this like create this sort of like it's almost as if it turns into a cream when you actually wet your brush with your setting spray it's magical so I'm just gonna apply some mascara you guys know I'm um, I mean I'm not into like crazy lashes every day I do use lashes but I mean I'm a mascara girl I love my mascara there we have it for my lips today I am going with guess <laughs> Colourpop BFF3 lip liner then I'm gonna take a slow down satin lip by Colourpop and Shayla this has a nice like caramel um, undertone that I love. I'm just taking the tiniest bit and distribute that with my finger. Don't feel you have to go in with like coating your lips as well to get the, the, um, the color payout of a liquid lip or something like that. It just makes it look cakey at the end of the day and you have layers and layers. So when you want the best effect of your lip is to sort of blot it on or when you put it on blot out some of it as well. That's a nice little thing to do. And I'm going over with Fenty um, Gloss in Sweet, Sweet Mouth. And that's the look pretty simple trust me it's very easy to achieve I love the eyes it's a nice way to add color to your look if you're afraid of color like this popping it in your bottom lash and be done um, this look lasts like like I said I've been doing this lately it lasts me all day and I always mention that I need my makeup to last me at least 10 hours a day and it does and I just love the fact that I like how it wears how it breaks down at the end of the day it's like never cakey never never kicky just becomes one with your skin at the end of the day and i really really do like that so so that's a complete look i hope you like it i hope you learned something found something interesting discovered some products you didn't know about that kind of thing that's why i'm here all the products i use will be in the description box so check that out and the link to all my social media as well i am a nail tech and a makeup artist out here in brooklyn so book me uh, follow me on my social media and see my work and until then i'll see you in my next video very soon bye guys